Okay, uh, you have to be a hard-hitting fight, okay, I understand, but uh, you have to listen to me, okay? Don't use foul uh, punches, okay? And try your best, and uh, best of luck. Time out! Ladies and gentlemen, we are live. Muhammad Wasim versus Jenny Boy Boka for the title eliminator. Wasim with the fast jabs. That, that's that's a one, two, three jab. That's that's great. And Wasim came out smoking. I mean, I like what Wasim is doing. Look at that, look at that. He is composed one, two, three combination. I think the hand speed is amazing from the Falcon. Mohammed Wasim and uh, Jenny Boy Boyka. Mohammed Wasim in the green trunks and uh, Jenny in the red ones. Yeah, Jenny. Jenny's a Panoy. Panoy means uh, Filipino in uh, you know in Tagalog. So uh, I happen to speak a little bit of Tagalog. Manny Pacquiao is a good friend of mine. So that's <laughs> that's where I learned. And these uh, Filipino fighters, they're great, man. I mean, they they come to fight. But I think Wasim is just a little bit way too much for him. The hand speed is amazing. Yes, Wasim's been working out in Glasgow, and uh, he's been the fittest he's ever been, according to his coach, according to him himself. And uh, he looks ready for this one. He is absolutely ready, Hassan. I was with him last night, and uh, we had a cup of coffee. He was very calm very relaxed uh, it, I mean he made the weight pretty easy uh, talk to his coaches uh, he's relaxed I think he's good to go so I see him winning by a stoppage absolutely these both these fighters got 19 career knockouts to their name so this is gonna be big this might end up in a knockout itself let's see both fighters just throwing in the jabs right now trying to trying to feel the arena and the and the, the atmosphere itself out yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is a feeling out process. Uh, it's round number one, and I think Wasim is executing the game plan beautifully. So I like the trunks that he's wearing. Uh, the, the green the green and white is amazing. And as you can see, he's got him against the ropes. One, two body punches. This is great stuff from Wasim. Body head, body head from Boca as well. Both these boxers know how to get the knocks down, knockdowns done, how to get the power punches in. So just feeling their way out. It's a pretty even match right now, must be said on the cards even. It, it is an even match. Uh, but I like what the pressure Wasim is bringing. He's going down to the body. He's uh, hitting a head uh, upstairs. That's pretty good. As you can see, even in the clinches, when they're clinching, he's still punching. That is that is the way right, right way to do it. Yeah, he's making the space for the uppercuts, and those are hurting Boca as uh, he comes in with a few punch combinations of his own and which uh, Wasim not only avoids but avoids well. But Boca's tough man, don't don't take uh, Boca as a pushover. Like he came here to fight, he came all the way from Philippines. You know, when you go in somebody else's backyard, it's a tough fight and you want to bring everything with you. So that he, he, he brought everything with him tonight. Absolutely, when you pushed against the ropes, the best of you comes out. And Jenny, boy, Tiger Boca is no stranger to that. He's had his fights around the world. And this time, it's against Mohammed Falcon Wasim. Ten seconds to go in the first round. Absolutely. Uh, you know what, when I look at these guys, Wasim seems a little bigger to me. He seems a little heavier. I don't know how much uh, he hydrated, but, you know, he, he, he looks big tonight. End of the first round. Round two begins. Joining me is Hassan Nazim and I am Ali Sina. And Wasim Muhammad Wasim is going right at it, throwing the deadly, accurate combinations. Muhammad Wasim's hand speed is very fast. Absolutely. He's just getting in there, throwing in those uh, punch combinations and just getting out right away. And he's just dropping that left shoulder a little, protecting itself from uh, the big swing Boca has uh, been renowned for. Mohamed Wasim is unloading with these deadly combinations. He's throwing the left and the right, and he is being precise. He's a veteran in this game. He's fought all around the world, and he knows when he sees a high-level competition. And Jenny Boy Boka is a high-level boxer who came all the way to Pakistan to get the win. But Mohamed Wasim sees, seems like he is winning right now, throwing these combinations again and again. Mohamed Wasim looks sharp. He looks slick. He's good on the feet, light on the feet, moving around the ring. Yes, absolutely. Both uh, boxers just uh, feeling their way in here as uh, Mohammed Wasim tries to land in those uh, 
jabs and then make that haymaker count. And he goes for the body punch here, pinning Boca against the ropes. Uh, and both boxers clinching, the ref's going to come in. Mohamed Wasim is, he has been a champion in 2010, South Asian Games silver medalist, 2010 gold medal world combat. Right now he is unloading with these co combinations. He is a veteran in this game. He's won championships. He's fought in these high level main events. He is calm and composed and he knows how to get the win. Aaron Pranak down by Mohamed Wasim. Jenny Boy Boka is down. I think that might have been, that might have been a slip and it's just, referees just confirmed that. So Boka's back on his feet and, uh, but, Mohamed Wasim is continuing with the pressure, he's just pinned him down and going for the combinations here, another one's landing, left to right, good uppercut, Boka tries to come back but uh, he's clinching there trying to get out of this one. Mohamed Wasim is so slick, he's got in hands accurate and right, he's slipping the punches and he's in the clinch right now, even in the clinch he's throwing shots, this shows what kind of a high caliber fighter Mohamed Wasim is. Yes, Mohamed Fuseem, no stranger to big fights, but it's his debut fight in Pakistan, in Lahore. All his fans are here cheering him on as uh, this fight goes on, the super flyweight category. Another quick combination, Mohamed one on two the head. Mohamed Fuseem is unloading to the body, unloading to the head, and he is confident right now. Jenny Boy Boka, he's putting him in an uncomfortable position. They're in the clinch right now, and this is a war, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely, both fighters landing good punches, but it must be said, Mohamed Wasim is dominating this fight. So, uh, throwing in more punches, connecting more, and Bokas in a bit of a spot of a bother, who's trying to go for the body shots. Now, Mohamed Wasim comes back, another quick punch. That must have hurt. Landed right on the chin, that one. Beautiful round by Mohamed Wasim. And there's round the battle for round three. three. <laughs> he, he, uh, all I know is he's a king. <laughs> well, it's an amazing um, fight. This is uh, Wasim is putting the pressure on, picking his shots, picking the right shots, and you know I think you know. Um, I could, I could see, see him hurting, hurting Boca, 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 but Johnny, Johnny uh, 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 but Boca's Boca a very strong fighter. fighter. I just I see him, see him in, the in the corner now. now. He looks he a little hurt, hurt, but um, um, he just keeps coming back. Punches so far. He's thrown the more punches so far. Definitely the aggressor in this fight, and he knows in front of his home crowd he's gonna make a big impact. Amir, how, how do you prepare for such like big fights? How how difficult is it to control the nerves? Oh, yeah, it is quite difficult to control the nerves, um, but you have to stay focused. And, you know, one thing about Wasim, he's been in this position many times before. Um, this is a great fight for him. It's the first time he's fighting in Pakistan, believe it or not, as a professional. Absolutely. I mean, he's no stranger to big fights, but being in your home ground must give you that added motivation. Yeah! Definitely. It can give you motivation it can, and, and also at the same time, it can make you nervous as well because you've got your home fans watching you. Absolutely. Our expectations are up. The pressure is up and only the champions respond. We've got a champion alongside us, King Amir Khan, and he's uh, telling us his views on uh, the, the match so far ringside but but I, I gotta ask Amir something Amir so you've been in these uh, fights you know pretty much all your life what goes through your mind when you are in some others backyard like for Boca you know let's give props to Boca was well, is doing amazing oh I, I think he's that, that, that's a cardinal sin to look back but you know what about Boca like he came all the way from Philippines this is not his home ground when you are in those situations when you go to somebody else's uh, you know home ground like you did with Pauli Malanaji in New York you you know you literally whooped his ass for excuse me for saying this but uh, what, what does that do to you emotionally and physically um I'm sorry guys I'm so I'm so excited watching this fight I mean we'll see he's not going for the kill yeah. he's going for the knockout now we'll see him throwing in those um, uppercuts hitting the body hitting the face yeah, I mean, look, amazing. I mean, you can see, I think he's hurting him this round. He's hurting Boca with them body shots as well. You can feel it. Boca's just like, just getting a little lethargic now, just taking those punches, taking that punishment from from Wasim, who's relentless, only to be stopped by the ref. And the referee gives him a caution for hitting him back of the head. Boca seems a little hurt, seems a little tired as well. The last 10, and I think Wasim wants to finish on a big bang. Absolutely, Wasim's got seven knockouts in his career in his 11 professional bouts. 
This might be another one, but we'll have to wait for it in the next round. As Amir Sorry, Khan said there, uh, Mohammed was seen making full use of all the energy he's getting from the crowd and all the focus. You can see it in his eyes. He's not caring about anything going on around him. Just focus on his opponent. And from as soon as the bell rings, he's there. He's attacking with his jabs and punches. I'd like, I'd like to also um, thank a Pound for Pound, who are big supporters of the uh, um, uh, Amir Khan promotions, and also Eden Lake Towers, our main sponsors. Without them, this would not happen. And also, we want to thank the Balochistan government for being supportive. Wasim is from Balochistan, and uh, at the moment, he's doing Balochistan very proud. Absolutely, the lad from Quetta soaring in this game, the Falcon so far, landing in those punches. It's relentless pressure from him. Relentless pressure. And the Tigers cornered. Yeah, he's putting a lot of pressure on him. He's hurt Boca many times, but Boca just doesn't give up. Absolutely, Boca's a, Boca's a hard fighter himself. 20 bouts to his name, 12 knockouts to his name. Mohamed Fazim knows this, is, this, this might last for long. And, and the referee's ducking a point now because uh, he's warned him before to not hit Boca on the back of her head. And it's happened again. Mahmoud will seem not really happy with that decision, yeah, but I he's going to fight on. Yeah, so that, that's taken a point away from him. And I think that is like, a, it does put you down in a fight when you get a point taken. And, you know, I have to admit, yeah, Wasim did catch him on the back of the head. But maybe that's because Boka puts his head down so low, then, you know, Wasim ends up hitting him on the back of the head. Yeah, he's, he's just trying to evade those punches from all angles and ending up just introducing the back of the head exactly. to the front of the punch. But it is a very dangerous place to be hit on. And I think uh, the referee did make a decent decision there. Absolutely. As the fight goes on, Mohamed Wasim going with his punches. Another one. So, Mir, you said that Boca is pretty tough. He's from the Philippines, and you know, you, you've been there to the Philippines. You, you, you've been, Boca you, might be down heard, there. I think he's, heard, he's got him. I think he's going to finish the fight here right punches. here. Wasim's got him in trouble. Wasim's got Boca in trouble. There you go. One, two, one, two punches. He's two shining right now. And the referee, I, I, think, I think that was a little unfair. The referee should have not separated him. I don't know what that warning is, but you know he's giving him that one warning for maybe pushing, pushing him a little bit. But Amir, coming back, coming back to training with the. What, what, so, here comes Wasim again. So I think Wasim, Wasim got him in tough trouble. Oh, over right hand, and he tags one, one with Wasim. So, but Wasim's gonna tie him up. I think that's that's the way, right way to do it. I think Boka knows that Wasim's got the better of him, and he's now to trying to come up with the big punches, somehow trying to change the momentum of this fight. But well, Wasim's got it cornered right in front of us. Right. Another body hook. Right here, digging, digging into the body. That's the way to do it. Oh, over, over right hand. Nice shot. Nice shot by Wasim. Wasim, I love the aggression of Wasim. So, Amir, coming, cu coming back to uh, training in Philippines, you've been at Baguio many times and trained with Manny Pacquiao. Uh, what's, what's Round five, and here we go again. Uh, when, when the boxer's throwing those big punches and if they're not able to knock their opponent down, does it work against you because he's using a lot of energy? Yeah, you know, sometimes when you try to knock your opponent out and you do use a lot of energy, which can sometimes work against you because you get tired and then you could be the one getting the big punches and getting hurt. It's uh, almost like the pressure's rising on you to, to get that knockout yeah, then, Boca, isn't it? Boca just gets a penalty for his head, which is why I believe Wasim is catching him on the back of the head because... He goes so low that there's no way else to hit him in, on, inside of the back of the head. So the referee picked that up now and gave him a point deduction. Yeah, the referee warned him before and this time he's taking a point. As Mohammed Wasim just landed that left hook, but Boka with a straight right to the nose of Mohammed Wasim. I mean, Boka isn't giving up. He keeps fighting back. He finds a shot every time. You find all the Filipino fighters, they find <laughs> weird angles to hit those shots. I mean, talk about Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, amazing all fighter. Other boxers. Amazing fighter, Manny Pacquiao, who also is from the Philippines. Now we have here Boca fighting our champion, Muhammad Wasim. Wasim is putting some great combinations together. And he, I think he knows that he can't knock him out with a headshot, so he's trying to work the body more. That, is that his strategy? Like, Ahmed, if you could explain his strategy to our viewers, what's Muhammad? What's him trying to do here? The strategy, so if you're going to go for the head all the time, you know, you're headhunting, you might have to go for the body, just slow, slow him down, and then the headshots might matter more. But at this moment of time, you know, because he's taking them headshots, them head blows, I think the body looks weak, so Mosim's going for the body more, so that way he slows him down, or maybe even catches him with a good body shot, wins him and puts him down. 
Yeah, absolutely. As, 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 as quickly as Boca tries to guard his head, Mohamed Wasim goes to the body and just keeps working him. Keeps working him with those punches. What a great fight. Everybody in Blochistan, everyone in Blochistan is going to be super happy with this performance because at this time, I think, what do you, how do you have the fight? I have Wasim winning all the rounds. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't think uh, we're even scoring now because just waiting for Wasim to knock him down, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, look, you, this is boxing where one punch can change a fight. And I've seen it happen. You could be winning a fight. That was a great shot from Wasim, a right hand, right to the chin. But I just feel that, you know, one punch can change a fight. This is boxing, guys. So... Just keep tuned in. I mean, you can't turn off as a fighter, absolutely. I mean, any any punch could knock you down. You can't get complacent in the ring. No matter how well you're performing, until your fight is standing, he's still got a chance. Yeah. Was he warned again, using his elbow? Um, but yeah, Bucket does put his head low. And um, maybe sometimes, you know, makes the... Oh, that was a good shot. 10 seconds to go in this round and Mohamed Wasim will try to close it with a few more good punches. Tries to get inside the body but misses with a right hook. That's the slip. That's the slip. It's a slip. It was such a big slip that even the corner pad moved. <laughs> he has to work there because he wants to get away from all his family and friends. Absolutely. Weeks and weeks of training and it could be 12 seconds which could decide your fate. That's the game of boxing and that's the beauty of it. Another right punch there from Mawasim. Good shot there. I think Bo Boka's a little uncomfortable. Uh, Amir, I don't know if you guys have noticed or not sitting ringside. I can see that his shoes are taped up. So last time this happened was with Tim Bradley when he came uh, in the ring without wearing any socks because Mike Tyson used to do that. So so I don't know if this guy came without socks or not, but he's taped up and uh, I don't see his footwork there. So he's a little uncomfortable. If you were in that situation, what do you think what's going on through his head right now? Why did he do that? I don't know. Yeah, I did see him complaining about his shoes. Uh, I don't know why that is. Uh, maybe he's maybe forgot his socks or something. Or the pen uh, so another penalty for his head is given again. So I think the referee hasn't made the right choice because he knows that he's putting it low and we'll see him ends up hitting the back of the head. Absolutely. This time uh, the referee telling him just to keep his head up because Mohammed Wasim is just getting in there close to the body with those body punches and those uppercuts to the chin. And Boka hasn't got an answer to it so far. And I think Wasim is definitely... Uh, disheartened Boca. Now Boca, in a way, doesn't have any answers. He's now in that defensive mode. Whereas Wasim is still throwing punches, making him miss, hitting and not getting hit. So what a great performance by him. Absolutely. He's dominating this fight so far. Just landing more punches, throwing more punches and Boca just on the back foot. As, as soon as he tries to attack, Wasim gets, gets inside and now he's cornering him. Another quick combination, another body shot. Amir, this is this is grueling stuff. This is uh, okay. This is this is tough, and this is tough to see. Boca is just standing there, but the amount of punches he's taken in this round is very, very hard for his body to take because, you know, a fighter with to take that much punishment should really stop or maybe co uh, the corner should throw the towel in, but that's not happening. Absolutely, I think uh, he's not going to give up. That's what. Uh, uh, Fahd was saying as well, boxers got to save them from themselves. They, they're not quitters, they're not going to give up. You see, he always throw that one big loopy shot, Boca does. You just never know, one may connect. But I'm sure, uh, you know, he's one step ahead. Is uh, And he knows, Wasim knows that he's, he's going to try to avoid those big looping haymakers. Yeah, Wasim, uh, he's got a bit of a cut on his nose, like a minor cut, but uh, he's continuing to throw his punches. Boca's a heavy hitter as well himself. He lands those punches. They do hit. Oh, well, well. so Wasim is caught. His right eye, his right eye is caught. Which, so now the referee has given it, called in the doctor to look at the eye. I mean, I don't know if this was from a cut. I don't know if this was from, um, I don't know if this was from a headbutt or if it was from, was from a punch. Um, and yeah, definitely. You know, when you get hit, when you when you get a cut like that, it looks very deep. But I'm sure the cut man now is having a look at it. Seeing what he can do with it. But now this is only going to give confidence to Boca. Boca's going to go for that cut. Absolutely. Boca knows that he's he's able to hurt Wasim. He's, he's hurt him. So we and saw earlier, we just saw that it was a headbutt. It was a headbutt. And I think Wasim now will have to go for the finish knowing that he's got that cut. And he wants to make sure he ends the fight now. And that's the end of the round. 6-1.
Done. Absolutely, and fighting a boxer with one eye is going to be always difficult. Uh, one Very difficult with one eye, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. What do you think should be Mohamed Wasim's strategy, just to finish it off now? I think Wasim now, you know, the longer he's keeping him in, he knows that his uh, Boca's finished now, but Boca's still a str uh, is tough, tough fighter. What he needs to do is get them body shots in, sink them in, because he knows he can't knock him out with the headshot, sink them body shots in, and... Uh, try to wind him or try to hurt him, slow, slow him down and get, get him out of the ring because the longer he stays in the fight, he is dangerous. Absolutely, Boca has got 12 knockouts to his name himself and uh, Mohamed Wasim trying to get him on the floor. Another body shot, another left hook to the chin and another straight right one to the nose. Oh, oh she's going shot. for the kill. Both boxers, Boca doing his counter punching as well. As I, as I said now, Wasim is trying to go for the knockout and what a great performance by Wasim. I mean, it shows the level of fighter he is because you have to say from Pakistan, Pakistan's number one fighter he is. He's the best out there. There's no fighter in Pakistan that's got to, got to his level. Absolutely. I mean, he's won common, Commonwealth medals. He's, he's won the combat championship in China and he's, he's, he's fought opponents all over the world, trained over the, all over the world. He's, and as a professional, he won the WBC, the WBC title. So now he's going for that. Now he's showing his skills. He's showing the class, the power. I think Boca is ready to go. Mama was seen just relentless pressure. Boca that, that, goes down, that, but not a knockdown. He's just, he just went down to rest there or something. That, and that, uh, that, Mama Wasim comes again. He's going to keep going. Yeah, Hassan, I mean, that, that's that's a tough fight right here, man. I mean, uh, Wasim's cut, I mean, even though that's from a headbutt, but, you know, this guy, Boca, this, he keeps coming back all night long. Like, this, his energy is, like, amazing. It's like a little energizer buzzy. I think that's a challenge in itself uh, for Mohamed Wasim. Boca showing that he's going to hit him harder. He's going to hit him stronger. And just taps the ring there, Boca, just showing frustration. He's not able to land many punches. And I think, as, as you said, he's not happy with his footing. He's, he's not happy with that. No, he's at, there you go, he's, he, he, sli he slipped again. He's not happy with his shoes. He's not happy either with the mat or something, so, something's throwing him off. So he's not happy with that and he's complaining again. But you know what, this is boxing. You gotta bring your A game, right? So if you're, so something goes wrong, I mean, it is what it is. You're, you know, your corner cannot fight for you. You're, you're, you're by yourself. So you are the man. You have to, you know, go, go down, dig in deep and find that win. Absolutely, absolutely right on target there. There are no excuses in boxing. There are no excuses in the ring. You just got to do your best. Your best game and Mohamed Wasim goes on the attack again. You know, Wasim, Wasim has been on it all night long. Like the jab is great and you know, with the short right hooks, that's that's one of his, uh, you know, key punches as well. So I, I really like Wasim, what, what, what he's doing. Uh, this fight is, you know, it seems like it's going to go to the distance, uh, you know, because Boca keeps coming back. This, this, this is a great entertaining fight. And can you imagine this is live on PTV? He came in, walked in, went to say hello and enjoy a bit of boxing. Tried to get him in the ring, but he refused. <laughs> you might see him in there later. <laughs> yeah, maybe later on. I was thinking of getting both CM and the Punjab <laughs> governor. Get him head to head. Maybe make him throw a punch. <laughs> <laughs> Square them off against each other. That's interesting, though. As we're back in the eighth round, Mohammed Wasim against uh, Gen Boy Tiger Boka. Mohammed Wasim has to be said, is winning this game. Is winning this fight on the cards and now feeling his way into the eighth round. You know, at, the, at this point, I think the scoring went out the window right now because we're just so excited about what Wasim is bringing and he is giving, to, putting a show tonight on for his hometown fans, right? So uh, th th this is great. I can't, I can't even imagine uh, how many people are in Quetta are watching him right now. So you know, I, I really want to know the numbers after this fight and uh, you know, if PTV can you know disclose those numbers, that'd be great. I, I can't imagine it's only going to be in millions. Uh, absolutely, and not just Quetta itself. You've got boxing fans all over Pakistan. And, and and boxing, the love for boxing, Mohamed Wasim's doing a great deal for that. Here he comes in again with the left and right combination, catching Boca and he's cornered him now. Throwing in those punches, body shots, head shots, body shots, head shots. It's a beautiful fight, he's connected there. Oh, I can't believe it. And he stopped the fight. That's a knockout. I cannot fight. believe the referee stopped the fight. He stopped like the, the fight. The referee has stopped the fight. TKO. Bo Boca's 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 Boca's